Well, things that got started. So I'll leave that in there for five hours. And next time I will buy the uh, spinach leaves. Yeah. No, I didn't put a paper towel down in the dehydrator thing. Because I forgot. Or parchment paper now that I finally have some. Anyway, next time I'll do it better and better and better and better and better. Um, yeah, next time I'll buy the spin not in a plastic bag, but the raw the spinach that's in the vegetable section that's just open. I'll get that, let it soak in baking soda, clean it really good and then put the leaves on the tray so I could have spinach chips. Well, I clumped those together. So I probably need to leave it in there for six hours. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, so I already set my uh, five hour timer. <laughs> and it's exciting. So. I'm letting my strawberries drip all the juice out uh, and then I will put those in there when when these come out. I didn't want the strawberry juice dripping onto the spinach juice or vice versa so that's why I did it that way. Uh, next time I will try it with paper towels or parchment paper. But I know it needs air, so that's why I did it this way. So it could have as much air as possible circulating in there. It's exciting. Of course, you know I'm a baby Aries. Stubborn. Yeah. And you just got to try one thing at a time. And what else do I have to do besides have as much fun as possible, no matter how many steps it takes? So, I'm excited. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show me the outcome. Oh, and so now I'm going to go back and look for a sauce. Uh, some type of sauce that I've never heard of before. To dip my chips in. You know, oh, I'm going to start cutting up some carrots. Yeah. I got baby carrots and I got cauliflower and... You know, just one thing at a time. <clears throat> I'm going to try different sauces, dips, whatever you want to call it. And just keep learning new things, doing different things that i never done before. And yes, 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 I know. Don told me it was self-rising flour with the... You got to go watch the video before this one. Uh, with To make biscuits, self-rising flour and whipping cream. Yeah. So I look forward to making that next time. So now I'm going to go see if there's a... I couldn't find one at Wally World, but there has to be a self-rising some type of nut flour instead of just bleached flour uh, to make the biscuits with. Yeah, self-rising something more nutritious. Yeah, and if not, then I just got to learn to make my own self-rising you know, flour. And so then when I make biscuits or whatever else, I will already have it ready in my, uh, oh, and I'm getting my sieve today for, to make juices, not, uh, not, uh, smoothies. Cause sometimes I just want the cucumber wa liquid water without the frothy foam and little bits of cucumber in there. And then sometimes I want it in there, you know, for roughage and, and whatnot. Yeah. So, here's to starting new things, huh? <laughs>